so good afternoon good morning, welcome to the session yeah thank you ma'am thank you so much how are you i am good what about you i'm excellent thank you so much for asking how has your day been started yeah it's quite good like as usual and uh, yeah that was quite nice hmm okay can you give your short introduction oh yeah, yeah pretty good my name as usual okay hmm. my name is atul sharma and i reside in delhi and i am a teacher i am a teacher in english and it's been a 3 4 years of teaching okay means so and i started my teaching journey from up up and now i am teaching in school as well and i have done my bachelor's and like uh, bachelor's in education and like and i'm also preparing for civil services so yeah that's what all from me thank you what about you? okay so you started teaching from up and where are you right now i'm in delhi although i have done my i am brought up and born and brought up in delhi itself but like my native place is up sultanpur basically so like uh, like there i just my initially i just started from there itself hmm. like that was my first school in up etawa like the etawa is a district particular district in up so there i started from there you started your journey of teaching and now you moved to delhi and you are currently teaching here yes. hmm yeah. okay okay what are your hobbies what do you do in your free time I'm an uh, I'm an athletic. I will say like I love playing. You know, I love playing cricket. I love playing wrestling, badminton. I'm an I'm pro in all the I mean uh, sports activities. Like I love doing that from my school life. I have been doing that. And mm. I still like somehow I just try to set aside a particular time to get indulged in that these kind of activities. Oh, so you are into sports. Yeah. That means you are very fit not, and fine. Not professionally. Yeah, I love I love to be you know fit and fine. You know like. Mm. So, because it's also good for your physically to be mentally sound. So that's quite important, I'll say. So, as you are now a working professional, so do you get free time to play these uh, games like badminton and all? Or uh, only on weekends, I'll say on Sunday, basically mm. in the morning, and mm. also even like uh, I just also try to have something like uh, that each and every day. I have to at least twenty to twenty-five minutes in the morning. Early in the morning, I will devote like I can do the meditation or like any kind of you know push up or like any kind of thing that we can do to physical activity. Feed. Some hmm. yeah, physical activity which can help you maintain the health proper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. But and uh, in order to play these games, we you need people. So, do you have people around you who play badminton and also you can? How how with whom do you play? Yeah, weekends? like uh, actually, when I was uh, like in a school, like earlier, uh, where I was teaching UP basically, so there was like I there was a I mean lodging and fooding facility were available. So I was basically residing in the school itself. Hmm. Okay. So like there in the school I was actually you know like playing so in the each and every evening I had like we had some couple of like student or maybe the outsider used to come in the school and we had mm -hmm. the court it's the school so there we used to play badminton I mean proper you know with the proper you know rules and regulation tactics and all so that was all and if I talk about here in Delhi so actually we know that we Indians love playing cricket. So, like you know, wherever you go in the field, you will find some bunch of student or some bunch of people are playing, you know, having ball and bat and all. So, although I, I I won't say that I'm having like I'm fine, like ambivert kind of person, not too talkative wow. like that. When it comes to you know playing or something, you know, when I I really love something to do, so that mm. time what happen, you know, easily I guess uh, I also want to play. Can you let me mm. go like that? So they let me. Yeah, you can. And I, you know, like I'm also quite good at playing, you know, bowling, batting, fielding, and everything. So they easily let me. Yeah, you can play. You should play. Able like to that. mingle easily with them. Able to make yeah, yeah, friends yeah. easily. Then yeah, yeah. Hmm. yeah. And it's come to you know playing. So, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Apart from that, that was, is there anything that you wanna add? Like you're especially emphasizing on if, if it comes when it comes to playing. So what about when it comes to talking to people? to be very honest uh, this is my first time you know i'm having with this kind of conversation although mm -hmm. i have been working on my you know communication skill from a couple of years 
but uh, just surfing you know on the feed or like that i got to know like such kind of platform is also available that we can you know harness to hone our skills like that mm. so i just got the couple of videos like you know couple of people are there who have their own channels on youtube so i i you know i just try to get how can i get this so somehow i got you also uh, and uh, yeah so and i have been from the quite school so you know like i, I know my school was not quite actually so like i i have done my education from government school i delhi itself so from me starting you know like that time you know when we are not you know useful to talk to you know like the basically the females like that so that was a bit you know but as i started mm. teaching in the school i become you know like because teaching in teaching when you are in the teaching field you have to interact with the people with your colleagues you have the meetings and so many things are there so you have to be you know like you cannot be like shy kind of you know so called shy students or the person as such so that was all like yeah wow and uh, and mm-hmm. yeah and one more thing you know like if you want to be if you want to live your life you know to the fullest or i say if you want to explore in the world so definitely you need to be calm composed you you should easily share you should have that kind of ability that you can easily share your words your feeling your ideas and you can also ask other for that same so mm. that that's uh, that's the way only we can enhance our like what do you call the bonding or the relationship you know in a beautiful way like absolutely 100% i agree with you uh, it doesn't just improve your relationships with others but with yourself too and that is the most imperative i must say foremost thing yeah. to build over time uh if you don't mind may i know how old are you i'm 24 yeah i'm 24 oh my god you yeah, are 24 and i guess what quite am- good observer quite good a person who got the i must say the understanding towards life people perception mindset like whatever you have spoke till now i can understand that you have worked and you are able to understand the perception and you know the worth of calmness composed and gaining knowledge and at the same time you are working on your skills so it is the right uh, thing to do at the age of 24 it's good and i think you have been doing since uh, you have been doing it for last 2 to 3 months 2 uh, to 3 years sorry when you started teaching right so it's it's like you i guess started at 21 pretty good impressive I think you have some network issues right maybe yeah sorry for that no problem hmm so i was saying that it is pretty good that you started you so much, i man. think at 21 everything and it's good hmm thank you so much i mean i don't think uh, like still i think that you know like a lot of thing i need to learn you know like course, i am not still course. satisfied with what time i'm doing yet you will mm-hmm. so, uh, what about you like uh, how has been your journey so far i mean i have like uh, like i'll say that uh, i have scroll your some of the videos not quite deeply i have gone what mm-hmm. like how has been your journey so could you please uh, give some uh, can you highlight your own journey a bit Sure absolutely i would love to but before that i would love to ask you one question how did you tumble on my videos first and did you send emails to others to like as you said that you found many people having conversations with each other and then you found me too and it is your first conversation so what is the story behind it did you connect did you send emails or didn't you receive any reply from them or what no i have i have i have uh, like yes i have you know sent others also couple of mm-hmm. uh, like, uh, like other also and i have got the positive uh, like uh, feedback from them also and mm-hmm. she, uh, like within few days we i with them as well and uh, your video also like as i was scrolling about the concessions and all kind of videos mm-hmm. so there i got to know like you know all the people somewhere other they put the title conversation like that so somehow mm-hmm. i got there so i got your couple of the video and you know like so then i just uh, like see like how i can connect with you so i saw like so many videos were there of yours with uh, like people um, so from there i got to know like yeah i can also get connected with you hmm. that was all 
Okay, that's a good initiative that you have taken for yourself in order to improve and enhance your English and your communication skills. And people who always are ready to grab the opportunities are ones who can definitely excel in any field, right? Okay, so coming to the point of my journey. Uh, so first, let me introduce yeah, you I mean, myself. Can, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So as you know, you as you can see, see on the screen. My name is Rajni Verma. I'm from Shri Ganganagar, Rajasthan. I have done my graduation in Korean language from JNU New Delhi, and currently I'm not doing anything related to Korean. Uh, but uh, I'm very inclined and into, you can say, in English language that inspires me a lot every single day. That motivates me every single day. That uh, fascinates me because it helps me to connect to people directly, and it helps me to. grab the knowledge and the plethora of content plethora of knowledge is available in this language only and i enjoy listening to people talking to people reading books so the whole time i spend with this language only the whole day since i wake up to till when i go to bed i just spend whole day my my whole day with this language only so you can say i am a youtuber where i upload these kind of conversations and apart from that i train people i teach people who have just started their journey we can say beginners and then intermediates uh recently i got a few students who are upper intermediate so when i connect to them also i enjoy a lot because at the same time they are helping me to learn uh because they are very good at vocabulary they are very good at sentence structure only a few uh, problems they have kind of like uh, when they get any random topic they are not able to speak at length like they are not able to speak after 2 minutes or 3 minutes they get stuck but they have knowledge but they have the vocabulary they have great command over the language too so they are it is kind of equal give and take so they help me a lot and that is why i enjoy this profession as well as this journey learning talking and same is my hobby like i love reading which is my hobby i love talking to people that is again my hobby so yeah that's all about me English journey in yes. learning English I started in 2022 itself so it's been 2 years now I started learning for 1 year continuously I was just working on myself later I started teaching too so now teaching helped me a lot so nowadays simultaneously I'm teaching learning running youtube channel yeah super man like that's quite amazing i mean So, like, uh, so, are you the providing online classes or the offline? I mean, yeah, online, not offline, online. online. Yes, online. That's great. I mean, and mm. being in such a, I mean, not a quite long journey, but still, you have a good command over you because, as you are saying that from since the time you wake up until the you hit the tag, I mean, so that time you are totally engrossed with the English or like you know talking, reading, mm. and having the video. So that's quite mm. amazing. I mean. i'm also actually but the thing is that you know like uh, uh, it need time actually the way that you are doing Needs, and yes. it need time also and mm-hmm. uh, you say that you i'm i'm in a such a 25 but still i think you know like people like i'm from the up like you know the although i don't have any compulsion like that but family also having you, know, you have to earn a good amount of money as well or uh, they mm. will look for something like that so so many things are there so, i mean so yeah not having that much time and uh, I'm but as a person, I'm you are growing well. As a person, you are like in young generation. I have seen this is not that much present in themselves. Like they are not even with themselves. They are how they can understand others, and sometimes it bothers me a lot. But uh, because of this journey, I met of quite a few people who are very, very composed, compassionate, have this kind of you know aura energy. so then like you know somewhere i read or maybe somebody shared or maybe i heard they become a person so if become a person like if somebody meets you ever he or she she should uh, he or she can it feel can, that okay uh, real people and uh, i can say true people do exist I mean, it should not still. be like the person is stranger you feel comfortable hmm. while talking with that person that hmm. kind of feeling is there and at the same time you know we don't have now that much trust we cannot trust people easily blindly so that fear is in us and i have a lot of fear i am not that much uh, able to connect to people easily like when it comes to offline it's i guess it is easier for me to connect to people from here itself but uh, otherwise i am kind of an introvert 
sometimes you can say I'm ambivert only when I am with my friends. Like I am with around okay. people who are familiar to me or I feel comfortable with. Only then you can call me an ambivert. Like I don't stop speaking, sharing the things. But when it comes to strangers, I start even crying sometimes. One day one of my friends was asking to meet uh, his family and all. And I started crying. <laughs> I was like, no, I cannot meet. I cannot. I don't know what to ask. I don't know what to discuss. So it's like, how can you be that kind of person? I said, no, I am an introvert. For strangers, I need time. I take proper time. I need to know what kind of energy, what kind of thought process they have. Otherwise, I am not able to manage because it's, it is always different. Like you are different. I am different. As a person, we all are different. So it is little difficult for me. I, like without knowing their thought process, I am not able to resonate or I am not able to connect easily. Uh, and uh, I feel people who send me emails are already able to connect to me because they watch my videos. And that is why when I talk to them, I am able to get those vibes, okay. those energies. Because otherwise they wouldn't have okay. sent me the email. Because see, you felt something while watching my video, right? The same happens with everyone who ever yeah. sends me the email. And that's what I got to know after talking to many people and that's why i'm able to like how comfortably i'm able to connect i'm able and with many people i have shared a lot of things about my life so it is like they are comfortable and they are able to already they have same kind of thought process maybe or same kind they are on the same path or same journey uh they are living so that is why they are able to they are sending emails and that is why i'm able to connect easily otherwise here i'm from a village so if somebody comes we have totally different paths, different thought process, different journeys. Then it's difficult for me to connect. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, where are you from? I forget. I think you told me. I'm that. from Rajasthan. I forget where. Yeah, Rajasthan. Rajasthan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rajasthan and Rajasthan. Where are the particular district? Shere Ganganagar, which is on the border of Punjab. So we have kind of a okay. Punjabi culture. Okay. Okay. That's great. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's great. I mean. Yeah, like you, yeah, like because the person who like uh, like you know, mail you or like that, they also want to you know have the same mm. kind of you know thought process, or they also want to you know explore a bit. You know, like maybe they are not getting uh, like some other medium or the other way to get mm. that. So yeah, and as you are saying that you are also a bit introvert, and uh, sometimes you get into uh, like ambivert as well. So yeah, same with me as well. But yeah, like we need to be, we need to feel comfortable. I mean, it's what I think, you know, it's all about our perception. I mean, the way we think, you know, True. ultimately there's nothing outside, you know, now, you know, like there's a one saying, you know, not, uh, outer enemy can, you can do no harm to you unless you let that person, that thing to harm you. I mean, hmm. so you need to be feel comfortable from your side, you know, and yeah, that's all like, True. Uh, otherwise uh, everything will be all right, you know. Hmm. Yeah. Sometimes I feel that. Sometimes I have thought about it so, because like, when I go, I think. Uh, you, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I think things are stuck. Hmm. Yeah, I guess the video got stuck again. 